Hello anybody, I am Canadian and today I wanted to talk to you about why there hasn't been very many videos. Also in case you're wondering, yes this was filmed right after that Five Nights at Freddy's 3 reaction thing, that's why my hair is just exactly the same. <sighs> okay, so I said that I was going to do a vlog or that I wanted, I kind of did say that I, yeah, I should do it. So, yeah, when I said I was going to vlog that weekend at the pre-release, uh, yeah. I kind of recorded like 30 seconds of Friday night. <laughs> so, Brian, yeah. what'd you buy? Well, in my mind, absolute gold. Jake's mind, worse than dog shit. <laughs> But you still got an M14 booster, so it's pretty good. Yeah, I got a really cool car. There's one booster, paid seven bucks for it, uh, and then Kyle made money off of it. <laughs> yeah, I took your money. <laughs> uh, Canadian is a uh, stealing asshole. And uh, Ryan Evans is a comment whore. Oh, what's, that, what's that guy's name? My mustache is freezing right now. No, he, he probably knows exactly who you are, because I'm saying Ryan Evans. Uh, Ryan, Ryan Evans. <laughs> Evans. My real YouTube life account IRL. is Ryan Evans. Ryan Evans. Instagram. And then never recorded at the pre release because magic. You can't, you kind of can't just pull out a camera and start recording. It'd be weird. And we never had really much of a break because, well, we did stop to have some pizza. That was good. But then I ended up talking to someone through the entire time that we were eating pizza. And we literally just talked about budget cosplays. That was the whole conversation. We had talked about an hour about that. And then I went and hung out with my other friends that were there, that I went there with. And then we just kind of talked about how our matches went or how our matches were going. And yeah, so wasn't really much. Uh, hold on, actually. I'll just go grab it instead of just showing you pictures of it. Okay. At the pre-release, I got this. The pre-release pack. I'm going to pick Sultai, because they're black. Like, the evil color, I guess. Yeah. And because that was like my first deck was a black deck, so I was like, eh. I always played as the black. Uh, I've played a black deck, so it makes sense if I pick the black deck there at my first pre-release. And they're kind of like eh, zombies and nagas, and you know, it's kind of weird that nagas are the black. Naga should be blue. Or should they? It should be blue and green, Nagas. They shouldn't be black. Maybe they are green. I think they are green. Nagas are green, don't, aren't they? Anyone that plays Magic, right? Nagas are green? I think they're green. Probably. And I got the card that I wanted. The Archfiend of Depravity. Because it makes it so your opponents can only have two creatures out at a time. Uh, why do the precinct t six? Because it gets a one one counter for every creature in your opponent's graveyard. But I can't play that one anymore because it's from the M fifteen or M fourteen set. So that's not in standard anymore. So I can't play it. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, that camera's probably off center now, isn't it? Well, maybe. I don't know. Stupid 4 gigabyte memory card. Stupid camera records in 1080p. Okay, yeah. So that was my single deck. The singles. Where it's just 1v1. And this was the one I used in Two Headed Giant, which is just 2v2. And you have a shared life of like 30. And it's Temer. And it's the green. <sighs> just blue. And then I decided to go with blue. And I never do blue, because I don't do control, I don't do counters and stuff. 
I do black and green or black and red or red and green or black, red, green, which I think that is a shard or not a shard. Is it a shard? I don't even know the freaking terms for everything. And because of how amazing that was, I decided that because of what I got in the booster box or the yeah, I guess it wasn't a booster box. This. After the amazing fun that it was there, I'm definitely going to this. And because of how amazing this, the dragons are, I'm building a dragon deck. And I'm definitely putting cards in from this set. Like this, the Dragons of Tarkir, in with the the Fate Reforged dragon deck because there was no real dragons in cons because their dragons were extinct. And yeah, so there's that. Also, I got this. But the reason I got this was because I thought, hey, no one really has this because it hasn't been released yet. Like, this is the booster box kind of thing. Like when you'd pay $100 and get one of these. Like here's the box that you get a hundred, or 36 packs in. And because I kind of like the art on that. So yeah, I never really bought the 36 packs. I just got this for free because we had to open one of these to supply more packs because there was more people than was registered at the event. And yeah, so that was the reason behind that weekend. And then I never got anything recorded during that week. And then I got an email from Nintendo and also, new 3DS. I wish it didn't come out already because I am so... I just had got this 3DS, the Nintendo one. Why did you release a Nintendo 3DS with a Nintendo on it? And then, like, right after, see that the new 3DS was coming. Like... You got people to pay $200 for this, and then said, oh, we're going to be releasing another thing. That one's going to be out of date. It won't be able to play the new games. But yeah, and then I got this, and the key I got, I don't know if you can see that, was the Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate demo. And having played Monster Hunter 3 on Wii, I was really excited to play this. And getting the key for it, I was like, oh my god, I get to waste even more hours of my life playing this game. But it only has the Yagi, and it has a, I can't even pronounce his name, Tsuka Refrata, this big tiger thing with big claws that can rip boulders out of the ground. And, and I played through it with the giant sword, the big sword, the, yeah, the giant sword. But I felt that that was too slow, so I went through the, with the dual blades and went through it so much faster with the dual blades. Oh my god, with the demon stance, it was just, oh, it was so good. Oh, I'm definitely buying that when it comes out, oh my god. That game is amazing. And it's actually making me contemplate getting a new 3DS because the C-Stick controls the camera and the contr camera controls are terrible with that one. So yeah, that was the, the, during the week I've been playing that non-stop. And then on the weekend, went to a mall. I don't know if anyone, any of you know it because it's in Canada. Well, the people that are in Canada, I don't know. It's in Markham. It's the Pacific Mall. It's the big Asian mall that's completely glass and everything. And yeah, that was probably like the greatest mall I've ever been in. And we got stuff like this stuff, Pakari Sweat. It's like blue Gatorade, but in a smaller bottle and it costs more. And it actually might be a bit better. It's literally the exact same thing. Like it resupplies electrolytes and everything. And then I got this stuff. Oh, she's told me what the name of it was, but I can't remember it. This stuff, it's like this blue drink gum thing it has like little jelly caps in it and like all this stuff oh they're so good 
and on top of it, it's like a little Aaron sticker. Aaron Jaeger. Oh, hold on. Aaron Jaeger. I've not actually watched Attack on Titan. Should. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that's why there haven't been any new videos. And now there will be videos, like a couple videos this week, but I didn't get any done recording on the weekend because I went to that mall and then we hung out and played, or had that, and then we played Skyrim and... Things. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's... Not 2014 Halloween, but 2013 Halloween. No, it was 2012 Halloween. We went out in Homestuck costumes. Or in Homestuck cosplay. Costumes, cosplay. On Halloween, can you really tell the difference? Because you're kind of doing the same thing. I guess costumes are less work and then cosplays on Halloween. I don't know. And then 2013, I never really did anything because I was lazy. And then 2014, we kind of just handed out candy. Uh. Yeah. If you uh, don't know who this is, it's Tiki Toby. A creepy pasta. Uh, my really badly done goggles with my everyone criticizes it sewing job. On them. It was pitch black, no one could see. So. Yeah, the shoddy workmanship is okay. And then she was. Mask's too small for me, anyways. Masky from Marble Hornets. The whole reason Slenderman is kind of a big thing. God, if you if you know Slenderman and haven't watched Marble Hornets, you need to. They're the whole reason why it's a thing. They're the whole reason Slender the Eight Pages, that old game, was even made in the first place. Like they inspired the notes thing and everything. They made that whole reason. That whole that whole, that whole reason. They're the reason that whole thing was made. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, should be more videos soon. Now that crazy, oh, crazy isn't over. Uh, crazy will be returning this weekend. Yeah. Also, I'm considering, I don't know, I'm still considering it. Considering I've already got offers to buy this microphone, if I do go through it, Blue Snowball. This isn't this isn't advertisement or anything. Just so you know. No, just my snowball. I'm thinking of getting the Yeti, the tall one, the one that's actually that actually can mount on like a microphone stand because this one can't because it has like a. They did a different design, like they did, that you need an adapter to attach this to a microphone stand. But the Yeti you can attach to a microphone stand. And I'm thinking because I type, and this microphone is like, okay. This microphone's like on this table, here, that I should, uh, I wanted to get the microphone, a microphone stand. So I would need an adapter and a whole bunch of other things to make it work, or I could get a Yeti, which has a better sound quality, I can put it on mount, like, stands and everything, plus it has more settings, and just seems all around better, and people, like, I already have offers for people to buy this, or I have an, I have a offer for someone to buy this off me, if I do get the Yeti. So, I don't know. I'm considering it. And, yeah. So that's that. Yeah, that's about it. 
Thanks for watching, and I look forward to talking to you in the next video. See ya!